62 miles from Tokyo, at the base of Mount Fuji, Toyota recently began construction on a 175-acre smart city project, referred to as the Woven City, coined as a living test laboratory by Toyota. Construction is now underway at what was once Toyota's Higashi Fuji manufacturing plant, a Toyota facility that spent 53 years producing vehicles. It was on January 6, 2020, at CES 2020 that Toyota first announced its plans to build this city of the future. We thought, why not build a real city and have real people living and safety test all kinds of technologies? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm here to announce today on this 175 acre site in Higashi Fuji, Japan, we have decided to build a prototype town of the future where people live, work, play, and participate in a living laboratory. Akio Toyoda, Toyota's president, when announcing the project, stated that the Woven City had three main principles or themes. Woven City has three principles, which is human centered living laboratory, and ever-evolving. The exciting aspect of living laboratory inside Woven City is that we could have an opportunity to accelerate new products and development, and maybe not just for Toyota. This prototype city will literally be a living test laboratory for human interaction with technologies like robots, smart homes, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, and other types of mobility transportation. It will be a programmable city built in a grid-like pattern with the entire city's operation being woven into a single grid that is intended to benefit not only Toyota, but also the world. From its autonomous roads, smart homes, robot personal helpers through to AI-delivered communications, goods and services, as well as power supply all running within a single matrix, the Woven City will be a real-life testing grounds for full-scale integration of future technologies. Toyota has commissioned Danish architect Bjark Ingels to plan the layout of the city. For an architect, you would like to find yourself involved in meaningful projects that make a difference. This was not just, we have some land available because we're moving some factories around. What should we do with it? No, no, it was much more deeply rooted in the vision of what kind of a company Toyota is and what kind of a company Toyota can become. His firm is attached to some of the most futuristic city concepts happening in the world, including two World Trade Center in New York, Google's headquarters in California, and the Lego house in Denmark. Transportation within Woven City is one of the key aspects of the living experiment. So basically today, the typical street is a mess with everything and nothing everywhere. So we started by splitting the typical street into three separate forms of mobility. The first type is for faster transportation, and every vehicle is autonomous with zero emissions, and street trees create the necessary distinction between people and vehicles. The second type would be an urban promenade shared by pedestrians and slower personal mobility. And the final type of street will be a linear park with paths for pedestrians only. So imagine walking from one part of town to the other moving only through a park. So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. Streets will be built in three diverse types, each for a specific need. The first street type will be for fast-moving autonomous vehicles that will act as transport vehicles, as well as delivery vehicles. A second street type will be for personal mobility options for pedestrians using mobility scooters, bikes, and other modes of personal transport, including Toyota's iWalk. The third street type will be a pedestrian-only promenade intended for leisurely strolls and nature walks for residents that weaves throughout the city, which will be lined with flowers and trees. Supplies and goods will be transported by way of overland and underground tunnels run by Toyota's fleet of electric e-pallet vehicles. The underground infrastructure of the city, dubbed the MatterNet, will house stormwater filtration, goods delivery, and hydrogen power. Below ground, we find the entire infrastructure of the city, including its hydrogen power storage and water filtration systems. 
A network for the autonomous delivery of goods also takes place underground and connects directly to the buildings above. The self-driving vehicles that will dominate the city will take care of shared transportation, deliveries, and mobile retail supplies around the entirety of the woven city. All three road types will be interwoven throughout the city's infrastructure, and these streets will be lined with sensors that form a grid matrix by which all systems within the city will operate. Houses will be constructed mostly of wood to minimize carbon footprint, incorporating traditional Japanese joining methods with robotic techniques as part of the city's design aspect. The use of photovoltaic solar panels on rooftops will be used to generate power for the city. Additionally, the smart city will produce power generated by way of hydrogen fuel cells and geothermal sources. Homes will serve as test sites for new technology and will also be connected to an underground delivery network where self-driving robots will deliver goods to homes. Inside the homes, there will be sensor-based in-home robotics to assist with basic day-to-day -day needs, including cleaning, trash disposal, laundry pickup, and even the monitoring of occupants' health. Rooftops will have photovoltaic solar panels that will be used to generate energy. Toyota also has plans to incorporate the native vegetation into the city and will utilize hydroponic systems within the infrastructure of the city to grow vegetation and food. Along with residential and neighborhood parks, recreational parks will bring together the community and encourage social gathering and group participation within the city. Driving the presence of human interconnection with the interwoven grid of the city's futuristic city project, the initial population of Woven City will be 360 people, including inventors, senior citizens, and young families with children. Although Toyota has not yet advised how these first residents will be selected, as construction progresses, teachers, police officers, industry partners, scientists, and other individuals will come to the city, eventually growing to a population of 2,000 total residents. There will be a police force, fire brigade, ambulance, and medical facilities, education, and training facilities, the resident population of the city will be of vast culture backgrounds and differences. They will get to test out, critique, and experiment with technology inside this new smart city by creating a city filled with autonomous cars, robot technologies, and AI. Toyota has the perfect opportunity to trial, test, control, and monitor its product's growth as it adjusts the infrastructure so it can evolve into a perfectly operating living system. Toyota is not only known for and focused on the research and testing of self-driving mobility products, but it is also heavily involved in the research of many other technologies, including artificial intelligence and robotics in the various labs they have in locations around the world. Clearly, it made perfect sense to the leadership at Toyota to incorporate all of these laboratories into a single location to facilitate the operation and development of sensory and data-based smart mobility vehicles and their needed infrastructure. The Woven City has begun construction this year on February 23, 2021. The project, which covers 700,000 square meters of land, is currently in the beginning stages of construction, initially dealing with the demolition and removal of the earlier car manufacturing plant it's expected that construction is to be complete and the city housing its residents within five years by 2026. While the cost is expected to be in the billions, official information regarding the total cost for the project and the exact time frame for the completion of the city has yet to be released. What do you think of Toyota's Woven City? Do you think it will be a viable place for people to live? Do you agree with Toyota's living experiment? Or do you think there's a better way for Toyota to test its new technologies? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to see more from us. We'll see you guys in the next one.